On May 26, 2022, Tian's Group, one of the leading agricultural industrialization companies in the world, organized an investors' business meeting geared towards bringing clients together from all across Ghana to form partnerships and collaborations to sign on to the Tian's project of setting up a fully automated agricultural processing factory. The event, which took place at the Incubator Conference Room at the Silver Star Towers, witnessed prestigious clients from all angles ready to sign on to the TIAST project. Amidst them was the Divisional Chief of the Enim Traditional Area. Speaking at the meeting on the overview of TIAST Group was a Business Development Executive at TIAST Ghana, Mr. Dixon Anani. He elaborated on the TIAST model as he defined the project as a fully-fledged one, providing the clients with financial, technical and export services. He added, you will have a constant cash flow with efficient machines that meet the international standard. Now the solution according to TIAS, of which you all know, is that we are coming to help you make this a reality. With our financial support, with 80% financing with Standard Bank, with our technology, what is highly efficient, highly automated, we have also secured a ready market, which is very, very important in every cassava or agricultural value chain. Now, this is a problem. This is what we are all here for. A fully fledged project where it comes with water treatment systems, where it has dormitories, where it has... Um, you could see here that the, there is no emission of gas because you could see it is re-sent back into the system. These are efficient methods put together, well craft with our experience over 20 years now, doing this over the years to give this project to all of us seated here. The clients were given an opportunity to do a short presentation of their businesses and the percentage of the factory cost of material they have in their possession in order for the clients to choose who they can best pair their resources with. We hope that uh, if we get 80% from uh, standing, uh, the equity, 20% that is for the factory side, we can split 10 10 with any financial investor. However, if the investor wants to be more than just a financial investor that will bring money in getting that. I want to be part of the business. Uh, that one also we can negotiate. Mr. Augustin Isamoa, the head of the business team at Tias Ghana, after answering most of the questions with Ms. Pesla Fiati, a senior business development manager also at Tias Ghana, he concluded the presentation with why and how clients can form corporations to set up the factory. He unveiled the incentive packages Tiaz Group was giving to its clients, which involved a 5% and 10% total project cost to give back by Tiaz when the factory starts production after a month. We are looking at the fact that uh, what can you raise, what do you have, what can you bring on board. The other people would also come on board. If it comes to the, uh, uh, the conclusion that all of you here, would have to come together. Let's say if we have about um, 14 people, then um, what are two and two? If we have anybody even bringing one person, one person, one person, one person, we agree, all of you can even come together and do the project at one place. It's also possible. It could also be that two or three people will do it at one place. It's also possible. That's what we are looking at here. Because if, trust me, the investors looking or watching would want to also know what your, your, your equity is. I understand the fact that we have lands and all those things. But just like any bank, if you just send a land to a bank to help you, maybe it will just delay you. But then maybe if you go, they will also ask you what you have that we should also help so that you can have your skin in the game. During the interactive session, clients had the opportunity to build their network, business cards were exchanged, and new partners were made. They engaged each other in conversations to know better their newly found partners for the TIAS project as they aim at forming collaborations for that purpose. The clients expressed profound gratitude to the management of TIAS Ghana during the interview session for organizing the meeting to bring them together to make the most out of their individual resources. I would say thank you very much for the innovation that they've brought into the agri-sector. 
a lot of people talk about Agric being the backbone of the economy. And the World Bank designed a program for commercial agriculture. I think if they have invested one-fifth of that money in a project like TS have brought us, Ghana's agriculture will be a long way ahead. For coming up with this innovative project, I say thank you, and I say it's very commendable. Um, there are glitches here and there for us to get it moving, and for people to come to that conclusion that this is the best agribusiness project that they can have. But with patience, I think we will overcome. They just have to hold our hands and uh, guide us to put our feet where we need to put. And um, I think we'll be on the right path. And Ghana will be all too happy to have had the TS group. Believe them or reporting for agro